And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ascended Sun Disc. I wanted to play this deck again. We played it, I don't know, maybe about seven to ten days ago, and it was not only a lot of fun to play, um, but also felt really good. I thought I thought this deck um, looked really good. It, it was my favorite version of a Sun Disc deck yet, and so we're gonna replay it because um, it's the brand new region, Shurima, and um, Buried Sun Disc is a fun card to play if we can get to any of these um, champions to level 3, these Ascended Champions. So we're playing 2 Azir, 2 Rennington, 2 Nasus in this version. It, lots of 2 ofs. We kind of, we talked about this the previous time that we played this deck, that we had you know a lot a lot of 3 ofs in our and um, and it was it wasn't as good I don't think because basically there are just so many different cards that you really want to have access to and that having just kind of having 2, two copies of all of these cards really worked better than than three copies of less of them because sometimes you need like a xenotype researchers on turn three to help fill in the curve if you don't have an azir or um like sand spinner was a card i wasn't playing before because i was playing like golden ambassadors and ragtons but sand spinner can be really powerful at different times to help us with removal and so on and and you know so i like siphoning strike a whole bunch and it works great with um leveling up nasus or rennington um but you know you, you can't have too many of them in your hand because they can be pretty, um, like it's it is susceptible to counterplay from your opponent. But I don't know. Our deck has a little bit of everything, and uh, you know some good card advantage, a bunch of good spells. It's just a really fun one to play. So we're gonna go ahead and play it today. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. I got two donation decks on the docket today, and then just doing two decks that I wanted to play. This one, and then we built a deck that should maybe be in meme tier, but we're going to play it in ranked because, you know, whatever. Uh, that's going to be the barkeep timelines. I want to play concurrent timelines with Ionia and with back alley barkeep. That should be a fun one. So Daria Sejuani, we're going to just keep this opener. They are a kind of deck that can hit really hard. And they have the Overwhelm, and so I think Quicksand is perfect here against Overwhelm stuff. Sand and blood. The winter's claw strikes. If I pass, then next turn I can play a 3-drop, then the turn after I can play a 3-drop and have Quicksand. Where if I play the Preservarium... I don't get to have the other spell available because they're going to be killing us super fast. Like this is not going to, this game's not going to last that long. Okay, I guess I'll still play it though. That's a good draw. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Nowhere to be found. Yeah, you won't see us playing too much Twisted Fate of Elias over here. All right, so if I just quicksand that, it dies. So that does seem like a pretty good use of quicksand, even though I won't I won't have this later for a Darius or a Sejuani, but this does just kill it. Or I just play a Zier and block. Yeah, maybe I just play a Zier and block. So we're probably gonna need this for a bigger overwhelm thing. Good opening hand for them. Four units by turn three. So this is me taking eight damage, going down to ten. Okay, well, never mind. Yeah, pretty surprising they didn't do any attacks there. Because that was... That was not a bad attack. I'm very surprised they didn't. I'm gonna play the sand spinner. Observe the price of ambition. Destiny calls. Damn it. Down. 
What's this? What's this? There we go. Decisive maneuver. So we know just put that right there. Go to 11. But you know, it takes out a decisive maneuver, which is a big time card for them. exactly what I want to do. I want to have Shave Stone plus Siphoning Strike for a champion. That's kind of what I want. Hoping to pass, hoping they would play a champion. Could have attacked, just attacked with only the 3-1 and then gotten the Sand Soldier. Okay, so we got a ooh, a Nasus and a Renekton that both got hit. Like, like why does it say six six? Oh, these are just they get the plus two plus two because of the siphoning strike. So these are not they're not the plus three plus three from the Z Xenotype researchers. How they had the green there, I thought they were Xenotype researchers, but they got hit by the siphoning strike. But speaking of siphoning strike, that siphoning strike would be good for me. Um, but maybe we just take just I mean Nasus is gonna be big. Maybe we should just take Nasus, it's gonna be big. Oh Who upset the tower but another siphoning strike wouldn't be bad either. Like those were those are all gr very good choices. For me. Yeah, this card's gonna be big. Tell me, what will become of Shurima? I study history, but we must write it. Bow to no one. Watch me. Disintegrate. The order is given. Tell the people. All right, let's attack. Leave no survivors. I hope this works with the Shape Stone. We'll see if they have Troll Chant. Nah. Just didn't have time to play Sun Disk in this game, unfortunately. Could have played it right there before attacking, but I didn't have the, you know, at that point I didn't have the room. I'm pretty surprised. That that worked. That, that Sejuani just died. I'm pretty surprised about that. Some spirits are fated to burn. Yeah, they must have a pretty weird hand. Like maybe they like maybe their hand was like two Captain Farons. And I don't know what else. Something else weird. No, we're about to attack. All right, game one, got to win. It's a good deck too. Not a deck I defeat that often. Should have attacked. All right, Draven Riven. Hopefully, we get that quicksand again, because they're about you know buffing up one thing, so that quicksand can be really important again. All right, so no time for Preservarium. 
I will keep the others. Hello. I have the attack token turn one. See what we see. <laughs> yeah, the mono Shirima's good. I like this deck. I'm cold, I'm hungry, there's rocks in the boats. Both of their champions cost three mana. Therefore they want to play both their champions on turn three. So this Roiling Sands is kind of nice to help prevent them from that, but yeah, they did they did a great job playing against Roiling Sands, though. I definitely thought of that, of like, maybe I should pass. I definitely thought of that, of like, like how they passed me, maybe I should just pass and then slam the Rock Hopper to start with, but they could still do that. I don't know if I want to spend the one mana on Buried Sun Disc. You know, with having like this quick sand of may not. I think I may want to just save that mana. These hands no and magic. Let's not have the three mana for the uh quick sand if we need it. I'll show the hunters. Creature. Sedition. Okay, so just trade it with their sharpened resolve. So I can go Sand Spinner plus Sun Disk or Ruin Runner. You will shine over an empire reborn. I write the rules of power. Observe the price of ambition. These spinning axes are pretty pretty rough. It's a good card. So they have two blade fragments in hand. So like they have the seven cards, two of them are blade fragments. Well now one of them is a blade fragment. It's my time. You dare. So they're blocking here since I have another Azir's Arise. Or since I have another Azir. Could also just simply not block and then just play a rise twice, you know, and just, you know, go block, block. But if, if I block here, I can play Nas Nasus. Yeah, I guess I guess we're just gonna do this. The other zero, you know, would be larger than this one. Instead of being a 1-3, we would be able to reset it with a 1-5. And now I don't, you know, I don't have the mana to play Nasus or anything right now. Where if I voted on that, I would have just been able to play Nasus, then this next turn play like Rune Runner. Alright, so Nasus gives me 8 mana next turn. 8-9 gives me 9 mana next turn. This gives me... I play this, then we have 10 mana next turn, so I can go runner and then runner's strike. Seeing tombs, towns, and everything in between. Disintegrate. It's really enticing to 
I almost, I really almost passed the turn right there, but I guess this is a good attack. But I really almost passed. Just to have them waste all this mana. But I guess that's a good attack. When will I find peace? Ugh. Yeah, we could definitely just die here. Even yeah, they're making the Blade of the Exile. Off. We could definitely just die. I feel like I should have passed with all that mana being wasted. Yeah, if I have if I have a chance, I'll try to. You know, I would I would like to cast Siphoning Strike, but I may not. They may just kill me. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna kill me. That's just lethal. That was my first reaction was to pass. Kind of wish I did. Wish I did. Alright, we'll get rid of that. And keep all these. See if I, I use the the quicksand to save Azir, I should I should have let Azir die. And save the quicksand. See what we see. That was the worst attack I've ever seen. Had to have been the worst attack of all time. Right? Like, that's just somebody who wasn't paying attention, right? Like, they were, like, doing something else. <clears throat> and just, you know, play the fizz attack. Like, they just weren't paying attention. They discarded another fizz, so they are out of fizz. Like, this is the last fizz in their deck. I could kill it with a quicksand, but I can kill it later with quicksand. What do you make of that? I'm not For sure. better. Gonna catch the sky. My I know I could double shape stone to sa to save it, but. I'll just wait on those shape stones on like the Ruin Runner, Lethal. Just a briny deep. Chase what you want without mercy. And we got the Spirit Fire. We're looking pretty good. Drawn lots of cards. I'll put them to negative two. That will do. Two and one. They already discarded two get excited. Alright, we got Azir Lucian, so another Shreema deck. Okay. So I like the researchers, I like the sand spinner. Shapestone's a good card. I just don't have anything to play turn one or turn two, but I think I want to keep this. I mean, I guess I have the the Nasus for turn one or this thing. <laughs> Man, I am I'm all over the place with my words today. 
Sorry, I have the Buried Sun Disc for turn one. I won't have a turn two play. We'll save our two spell mana for the two Shape Stones. Or spell mana for the Spear of Fire, which could also be useful. out of here. Look what good comes of mortal greed. Now let's try to get a zero out of here. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Man, Azir is all about himself. That's why we kept the two shape stones. They're both important at killing both champions. Slow down, will you? Could siphoning strike that. So if I siphoning strike it, then they have the three four. Should just you know keep them from like this extra attack of getting an, an additional sand soldier that I really don't want to deal with. So they have like the 3, 4, the 2, 1. Like I'll just trade. We take 2. And the board's clear. They still have the this thing, the Emperor's Dias, but they only have 3 cards. Oh. Wow, what a what a card. That's a good one. Yeah, I was not expecting that. That remembrance. That was good good remembrance. These dooms are the lifeblood of Sharima. Basically, do I want to play Spirit Fire this turn? Or do I want to cast a bunch of these things? So I guess I I can go Hopper Hopper Azir. I'm worried about uh, what are they called? Like rallies? Them playing like a bunch of rallies? I'm worried about that. I guess we'll go Hopper Hopper Azir. So I go down to six. It's like, well, if I would have gone Spirit Fire right there, it would have, you know, those Sand Soldiers would not have done damage. This Sand Crafter would have only dealt one, so I'd be at nine. But if they rally, I wouldn't have or do like this kind of thing. Oh, I guess I should have played a zero right there. I wouldn't have the ability to, you know, play additional Spirit Fire for like the next one, next attack. Are you kidding me? Wow. The wheel never stops turning. Wow. Well. An errant move. An empire felled. And Sivir. All right, playing some more aggro. Misfortune Gangplank. You're gone. And you're gone. This is a great card, but... 
It does cost four mana. And so it's a little slow for this matchup. And it trades like a one drop. <laughs> um, but I want to keep it. That plus two, plus two, pretty awesome. I don't know. I'm going to try keeping him. If, if I wasn't keeping the Rock Hopper, I would not keep it, right? Like, I wouldn't keep it as, like, the only card. But, like, I already got a turn two play. We can hope that we find another, like, turn uh, three play or something. And we're not going to win this game. Again, like these aggro games, we're not going to win it because of Buried Sun Disk. I'd rather, we'll just save Spell Mana. Spell Mana can be more valuable. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. So the Hoppa can trade with the Spida. Where Chronomancer would not block the Spida. tough. I like both Doomkeeper and Exhaust. I like having one mana spells, right? Like, I, I want... You know, like, we have to be able to unload our hand quickly. I'm gonna keep the Exhaust, actually. I think that having the Exhaust to kill a champion could be important. And this is why I saved the spell mana, so we're just gonna go ahead and just Ruthless Predator kill this thing. So basically my plan is like this next turn Golden Ambassador. Draw hopefully either Azir or Renekton. Hopefully Renekton. Next turn we'll ha we have the attack token. We go Renekton with Exhaust. Why are we never playing Sun Disk? Basically, because we're we're playing against some very quick decks, and we need all of our mana. This is not going to be. This is not going to determine whether we win or lose. But as you saw, like with these turns, I've needed all this mana. I guess it's this one. Draw. Strike me. Level up, Rankton. Let's go. That's such a sweet level up. Champion spells, oh, just ruthless. Right. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Coming in hot. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Hmm. So right now, if I just go to open attacks, they're looking at going to two. Uh, I just put the card that helps counter decimates on top. All right, so now this would be them going to zero. Right? Yeah. Yeah, this is them going to zero. I don't really need to use the exhaust. The exhaust does. The exhaust doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't really. Okay. Because, like, their only spell is Fervor, and they can only play one Fervor. We 
they could stay alive by like fervoring one of my things, but then it's gonna be tough for them to kill me. All right, so there we go, three and two with Ascended Sun Disc, and um, and I really like this deck. I think this deck is is quite strong. Both of our losses were a little surprising, um, especially that game four loss. I thought that we were going to be winning that one, but we just kind of got cheesed out with some extra burn spells and everything. Um, you know, like the, the second attack burn spells, like their last three cards were perfect to cheese us out of that game. Um, but I, I think this deck's strong. I really do. I think that it just kind of has good game against everything. I think all, all Shrima um, is pretty good, and, and I really like this list. I like this 40-card uh, list that we're playing here, and I would recommend it. If you like playing Shrima stuff, if you want to, you know, try to restore the Sun Disk, give this a try. Now, you probably noticed those games. We did play against a lot of aggro. And so I wasn't actually playing the Buried Sun Disk. Just because you have the Buried Sun Disk and you have it immediately on turn one doesn't mean you just you should just throw it down. If the game's only going to last like six, seven turns, you just don't have time to do this and you have to stabilize and you need all of your spell mana. You're going to need your spell mana for your Quicksand or your Spirit Fire or anything like that. Um, now, the, sp the Quicksand was just amazing for us, though. It was great all the time. And... Um, and it would have helped us out from, like, really both games that we got cheesed out. It would have helped out. Um, I I think that... So, kind of like playing these games, I think that maybe the Ascended Rise just isn't necessary. I would I would I'd really consider cutting that card and playing a second Quicksand. Because Quicksand looked great. Every time I had Quicksand, I loved it. Um, yeah, I really like Siphoning Strike. I really like Golden Ambassador. I... I had that Ascendance Rise because it's cool, but I think that I, I think that that's probably just not necessary. Like, especially once we kind of get farther into the format that we are, where decks are getting a little bit more tuned. There's, you know, more aggressive stuff to try to fight Aphelios, and just more like pump spells and ways that people are cheesing stuff out. Um, so yeah, I, that's that's why one change I'd recommend. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there's just not time for you Ascendance Rise. The longer game. You're already gonna like you're gonna be okay-ish in the longer game, but just don't, probably don't have time for this card. So that's what that's what I recommend. Get another quick sand in here. Um, but there we go. Although besides that, it looked good. All right, so that's Ascended Sun Disc. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Hit that like button and of course leave those comments. Let me know if you've been playing the deck. I have been hearing from some people that have been saying they've been playing this deck and really enjoying it. Um, and, and I'd love to hear that from you if you've been playing it and enjoying it as well. So let me know. All right, but that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.